Hi there, my name is Nick Hilton, and I'm the Digital and Distribution Manager for Coach House Books, which is a fiction publisher based here in Toronto. I've been with Coach House for a year and a half now, and I've worked in digital production roles in the publishing industry for the last nine years. My primary area of responsibility with the press is managing its digital production and distribution. I make sure our ebooks are digitally robust, that they're valid against W3C standards, and that they meet WCAG 2.0 AA criteria for accessibility, which is one of our goals. My secondary role is managing the press's website. I am responsible for the automated workflow of book distribution, which is called an Onyx feed. I'm responsible for the creation and layout of curated content, the management and resolution of any issues, and the overall design and organization of content. I work in terms of our, my work with the website directly with a third party developer who created the system that manages our website and who performs the higher level tasks of creating new functions, interactions, or any major changes. Coach House is a leader in producing digitally accessible books. I'm going to show you one example here. We were the very first publisher in Canada to publish a book in as many accessible formats as possible. This was in February 2020 with our book called Disfigured on Fairy Tales, Disability and Making Space by Amanda LeDuc. And we continue to produce highly accessible ebooks that are periodically reviewed by end user testers. All of our ebooks meet conform woke to WCAG 2.0 level AA standards, and we include as many accessibility features as possible. So, Coach House is known for its accessible books, yet our website is anything but accessible. Now I'm gonna just give you a quick video tour of our homepage of our website. So my job as digital and distribution manager is to manage this website by maintaining the page content and layout as I mentioned and working with a third party developer to facilitate more major changes and updates as needed. We are not mandated to make our website fully accessible and that is because our company consists of less than 50 staff and we are not a public sector organization. So we're not required overall to have our, our web content conform to WCAG 2.0 level AA by January 1st of this year, as many organizations were, according to the information and communication standards under the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act. Although we are not included under this legislation, we do face a problem. Coach House is publicly known for our accessible books. It's part of our brand and our image. And yet our web content is not accessible at all. And I will just give you a bit of a preview of that. So this is our website put through the web accessibility evaluation tool. As you can see just in the brief summary, there are 15 errors, 65 alerts, and there are eight contrast errors. Many of the errors that consist, uh, that uh, take place on this website are errors that greatly impact accessibility of the site, uh, such as there is no alt text, there are duplicated and redundant labels, there are buttons that lead to nowhere, uh, the list goes on and on, contrast errors, etc. There is also a structural problem. Our tagging, our semantics of our content uh, is, is not semantically accurate, um, nor does it provide good structure. So our website does, however, produce, provides an increasingly large revenue channel. Due to the pandemic, especially more and more customers are online and going directly to our site to purchase our books. Customers who want to purchase an ebook and who therefore may be doing so precisely because of its accessibility features may get stopped right at our site and unable to purchase the ebook at all. In short, in addition to potentially damaging our image, our website's lack of accessibility may be directly preventing customer uh, traffic and direct sales. Traffic to our website has increased dramatically due to the pandemic and many more people are going to our site to purchase our books. We could be leveraging this further by increasing the site's usability and accessibility and therefore increasing traffic even further. 
being able to promote our website as fully accessible will also enhance our brand image, driving further traffic to the site again. Coach House has two major benefits right now that can be leveraged for this project's success. It's very timely to be beginning this project. First, the third-party developer who works with multiple uh, the third-party developer does work with multiple publisher clients of varying sizes and needs. The foundation of each of their, these clients' websites, including our own, is based off of a single development, a common content management system, if you will, and framework. That means that the development or enhancements made for one publisher by this third-party developer potentially benefits other publishers. The potential savings in terms of development costs, therefore, are significant. Second, Coach House currently has an in-house accessibility expert on hand. I was hired for my accessibility knowledge and background back in November 2019. And since then, I've completed an Ontario College graduate certificate in accessible media production to further expand my knowledge and development uh, and develop a more broad range of skills related to accessibility work. Unlike other companies who may not have an accessibility expert in-house, Coach House is position, positioned, therefore, to lead this project confidently, have control over its work and outcomes, and do much of the back-end development work ourselves. Doing as much work in-house as possible will be a large cost-saving measure. The third-party developer is a small, independently-run business, and I have excellent relations with them. We speak directly on a weekly basis to achieve both long-term and short-term goals and needs for the website. I will work, therefore, with the third-party developer to implement the necessary changes and updates to the website that are required to make the, fully, the site fully compliant under AOTA legislation that it relates to accessible web content. I have already begun conversations about this project with Coach House Management and this developer. Management is very supportive of the initiative and is providing considerable autonomy for me to move forward with the project. They are enthusiastic about the project and they understand that it is timely in terms of the opportunity of taking this, uh, take, uh, taking this under with the developer who is currently doing similar work. The developer is keen to do this work as well, and as I just mentioned, he has let me know that it is excellent timing as they have just finished a massive accessibility update for another client publisher's website that we could therefore benefit from. The expected outcome will be an accessible website that, means, that meets WCAG 2.0 AA guidelines. The scope of the project would include both the front-facing website and our e-commerce site, which are connected to, in terms of customer experience, it is one website, but in the back end, they are handled by two separate, though connecting systems. The cost of this project is yet to be determined. However, a large portion of the development hours have already been completed and billed through previous projects with other presses. Coach House would be able to essentially piggyback on these, this major development work that's already been completed by the developer. The percentage of my job that is dedicated to website work may need to be temporarily increased in order to manage this project and see its completion. We also have a full-time digital intern available who can assist me with the work and be given sub certain sub-projects to lead, for example, creating all of the alt text for all of the images for the website that are currently on the site. Our website is not overly complex, and bringing all of the web content into compliance for accessibility should not be a huge undertaking. There are no major business risks determined, business risks determined with this project. The risk really is not undertaking the work at all at this point. By not doing anything about our website, we risk losing potential sales and the opportunity to increase revenue. We also risk damaging our brand and image. Especially because Coach House is known for our accessible ebooks, it is the next logical step for Coach House to focus on updating our website to meet the same accessibility standards, WCAG 2.0 AA, that we ensure that our ebooks conform to. Thank you.